So I've been debating making a video on the head gasket design while rod bearings are on their way. Um, but now I actually have the perfect opportunity to do so. So what we got here is my daily driver. Um, this car is a top mount Super 6 with a kind of crappy manifold. But what you need to know is I run probably like 30 pounds of boost on this thing because I like the party. So it's making some good power. And then a couple days ago, I was sending it pretty hard on the highway. It was a cold night, so it felt like it was probably making like 35 pounds. I don't know, because the gauge is pinned. And then got to my destination, and then smelt coolant. So I'm like, oh, I already know what it is. Lifted the head, opened the coolant cap, and there's a ton of pressure. Just gas coming out. Close it again, and it repressurizes, and it like just drives all the coolant down in the system like the rad hose was harder than a you know what here's what happened cylinder two and cylinder four um head gasket failure so this is a t7 motor it's a b205 with uh 204 pistons so i have a custom comedic mls gasket for it which is the right thickness because these pistons stick above the deck just sob stuff um so that's a custom gasket. I can actually get another one of those for a little while. That's cylinder two and then cylinder four. It just completely, both uh, cylinder head and engine block side of it. And the gasket's all wavy. So yeah, that thing is no good anymore. I'll get to this in a sec. This is the cylinder head, uh, cylinder two. Cylinder four. Four looks like, oh, that's that's pretty bad. It's going into the coolant. But cylinder two, oh my god, it like it made it all the way outside the deck and damn near torched the cylinder head. Wow. So briefly here, yeah, this is a T7 head on that T7 motor. Again, this isn't the race car head. Race car head is over there. Um so here's what we're doing. I can't get another Cometic gasket in time. This is my daily driver. I was driving it today. And I'm damn sure to drive it tomorrow. So I'm putting in the head gasket that is in the race car. And this is the head gasket you've never seen before. So this is about a 75 thou thick piece of stainless steel that's been laser cut and then machined with these slots. So tell me what these slots are for without me explaining it if you can see where they're located so basically the combustion chambers are sealed by firings because obviously you can't seal it with this and then the firings are obviously thicker than this plate and then they have a gap around them and that's for good reason that's because on these cylinder heads T5 included when you're actually making a lot of cylinder pressure, you always have a failure in this spot, which is between the two head bolts. And you could have it in between cylinders as well, but that's a different story. Because this is actually quite thin behind there, and then if you can imagine, get that up to 100 degree coolant temps, and that's on the exhaust side, so that probably, probably is even hotter than the coolant temperatures. Once that gets hot, that gets soft. And then now you have higher cylinder pressures than it was designed for. So basically what you end up with is the combustion chamber is just kind of singing with the combustion events um, in this thin part. So, okay, what do you do? Um, do you put better head studs in, whatever? That really doesn't help. It's not really a permanent solution because you torque the head down harder in these two points. You haven't added any clamping force to this spot. And then basically, this is just, as it heats up, it's just trying to bow outwards because the head's expanding faster than the block is because it's aluminum. So that's an issue. So what do we do? So, okay, if we can't just clamp the head down harder, what do we do? Okay, we add fire rings. Fire rings are great. They seal really well up into a certain power level, but that... This, the head is still flexing. That's the main problem we're having here. So, what do you do when you have a firing that could potentially leak sometimes? You basically put a vent in your gasket right here. And that's what 
this has. So these slots are actually vents for those fire rings. And I'm not the first person to do this. If you uh, do some Google searches on this kind of stuff, you might find some stuff. I know Le Mans cars do it this way, uh, other forms of racing, and then a lot of other people, but nobody really talks about it. It's kind of fortunate that I had this thing apart because I just straight up took the gasket off of it. Um, and then because this doesn't require any machining, any resurfacing, because it's actually all sealed with sealant around the coolant jackets. So on the head, I'm going to have to put sealant around each one of these uh, water jackets and then oil passages and then do the same on the block and then put it on so it doesn't really matter what the deck surface looks like as long as it's clean. So that's fortunate for me because I can get this done before the sun comes up tomorrow. This was the actual gasket that was in the race car. Um, so I basically cleaned it up. It's not the most beautiful surface finish on the bottom which is why I wanted to change it out to this plate. So what I'm gonna do is use that plate and then these fire rings in my daily driver and then get it working and now it has a fire ringed head gasket and then for the race car it's getting a nice new plate and i'm actually going to machine some new fire rings for it because i need them to be a little bit thicker vented side down pop it over the dowels and then basically these fire rings sit right in here just like a normal fire ring head gasket except for the fact that for these I have to just put a small drop of glue just to hold them in place until the head actually goes on. So obviously before this sealant goes around sealant goes around these um, coolant jackets all the way down even the ones that are covered and then sealant on the top side and then we are sealed up. You can see right here this is where the number two was uh, leaking. You can see the vent is conveniently placed right there. So if and when, because this firing will lift as well with extreme boost, probably not, this is my daily driver. Let's be real here, it might not. But on the race car, I've seen it. That's why on some of these, actually you can see it here, on some of these there's that little blue marking. That's actually the firing itself leaking. So, let's say the firing leaks, oh no, it leaks over here for some reason, it, it's not there. It can vent all the way out through this opening around the firing, out the vent, or it can vent you know, through here because they're all connected, so it can vent anywhere along here. So, it's just a nice happy situation. So. For the race car, the whole purpose is you can lift the head and then not have any coolant and water mix because your combustion is just going straight out the deck on the block side, which is iron, so it's not going to torch the head or anything. And then you could just continue racing, and that's the whole point. That's why they use them in Le Mans and stuff like that. But they usually machine it much more neatly than I have. Their other stuff is a lot more pretty than this.